Art Lab with Miss Neff. Um, today we are going to talk about Pablo Picasso and then we are going to draw self-portraits in a Pablo Picasso-esque style. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain on October 25th, 1881. He always loved to draw and attended art school in Barcelona at the age of 14. Picasso had many different styles and thus had many different artistic periods. These periods included his blue period, his rose period, his cubism period, his neoclassical period, and his surrealism period. For this project, you will need um, a Sharpie or a black marker, um, some colored pencils, or possibly crayons or pastels or even markers. And then you need a piece of paper or right like we talked about before you can use cardboard you can even use lined paper whatever you've got at home is totally fine um, I found a piece of white paper so I'm going to use that today the first thing we are going to do is draw um, a large oval in the center of our paper and that oval is actually going to be your face and just so you know it's okay if you mess up on this project it's really forgiving because we're doing kind of a cubism style of portraiture so if you make a like a small mistake or something, you can probably turn it into something better. So don't worry about it. Deep breath if you make a mistake. We're all in it together. I'd like to start about right here. So I'm gonna put my head. So I'm just gonna draw a nice head shape. There, kind of like an upside down egg. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to draw your um, nose. So you're going to start at the top of the head, you're going to come down, angle, and come down. So you drew a line all the way down the face with a little nose. Now I want you to look where about the middle of the head is. So that's like right here. So maybe I want to put like really small tick marks. Your eyes are about in the middle of your head. So now I'm going to draw two eyes and I'm going to draw them in different sizes. So rainbow, you, rainbow, you. So now I have my eyes in two different sizes because it's cubism. And now I'm going to draw iris. So right, it's two letter C's, letter C, backwards letter C. And then I'm gonna draw my pupil. And I'm gonna look over to the side in this picture. Now I'm gonna come down to the bottom and I'm gonna draw my lips. So. I'm going to start over here, I'm going to squiggle up, come down, squiggle up, come down, and then for the bottom, it's just a U. Now I'm going to draw a line in the middle, and those are my lips. Now, uh, my person needs a neck, so I'm going to draw her neck, and I'm just going to draw it like that. Um, the reason why I don't want to go any further is I'm going to draw her shirt. So I'm going to draw a little neck with a neckline. And now I'm going to draw some shoulders. So remember, shoulders come out from the head. Right? So now I have shoulders, I have my neck, I have my face. What am I missing? I am missing my hair. So I'm going to draw my hair. Um, when I'm, my hair is not in a ponytail, I have bangs. So I'm going to draw my bangs. I'm going to draw my hair coming down here on the side, right? And then I'm going to draw some hair over here. I'm going to draw an ear, actually. And then I'm going to draw my hair behind it. Right. So now my person's got hair. They've got eyes, a nose, a mouth, and an ear. You don't have to do an ear. I just wanted to. There we go. For fun. Um, so, once you draw the basic shape of your person, you are going to color them in. And you can color, it's imaginative, so color them in whatever you want. And you want to do one side of your face in one color and the other side in another color. So you can use, like, whatever color your skin actually is on one side maybe, but then choose maybe your favorite color for the other side. Right? It's art. It's imaginative. We're not striving for perfect realism. So. Um, get coloring. OK, 
Okay, remember when you do your eyes that this part right here should be white, but this part can be colored. Um, now if you want to for the shirt, you can get your Sharpie out again um, and you can add a couple of lines just to add some differentiating features like we have on the face and the hair. So if you want to stop here, you can, but if you would like to add some texture to your hair, you totally can just get out your Sharpie or your black marker and just add some texture lines. If you want to add a couple of texture lines to your shirt, you can do that as well. And there you have it. If you want to color the background, you totally can, but if you just want to do the face, that's fine too. Uh, I hope you had a really good time making your Pablo Picasso self-portrait. Uh, it's sort of funky and fun, just like a lot of his work from his cubism um, period. So, yeah, uh, I can't wait to see what you have all done with that. Um, I hope you're, hope you're having a great time at home, and I look forward to making more videos for you. And I will see you all soon.